Um, so normally at these hackathons, teams will tackle just a single NHS problem. But our team has actually found a way to uh, solve not one, but two problems with a single solution. So what are these two problems? The first problem is a major shortage of nurses in the NHS workforce, um, especially when it comes to community care. And we know that these nurses spend a lot of their time um, checking wounds, inspecting them, dressing them, and often they also get called out when they actually really don't need, um, need to be called out because people sometimes are a bit worried, um, overly so. And the second problem um, is that patients need to be empowered for self-care. So to reduce demand um, on the NHS and to keep patients out of hospital and away from calling say, district nurses without needing to, um, we need to help them get better <coughs> than themselves. Um, and this is just go back to the other slide. <laughs> um, so just a couple of examples of quotes that we've taken from medical forums, um, just showing how people get very distressed about their wounds um, and really seek like, professional medical reassurance. So our solution is Wound Assist, an AI system that will empower patients to monitor their own wounds and basically save time for the NHS. So now we're going to provide um, a live demo of our solution. Um, we're actually going to need a volunteer, you know, judging now for this. <laughs> Two volunteers. We've got about 15 to go real moves, but it's probably not very technical. <laughs> so if you guys have not seen what's going on here, um, we basically created our pictures of wounds that we're going to attach to the arms of the judges. Oh, I'm so sorry for your... You're <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just going to start the demo now, as we've got one minute. So you'll see that this uh, AI system is integrated into WhatsApp, so it's very accessible to people. Okay, so we started with a greeting, there would normally be more onboarding than this, we'd have time to show all that. Okay, so this person wants uh, the bot to help them analyse their wound. So, those of you in the back of the class, it says, can you analyze a wound? Um, so we start by asking them questions. How painful is it? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Less painful than yesterday, I'm guessing. Um, <laughs> hold on a second, hold on a second. Could you please finish the demo? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to upload a okay. picture. So now we're asking to upload a picture. So what would happen here is the patient would take a picture of their wound and it would be analysed by our AI-powered image classifier. So here you can see the image that we've literally just taken from the judges. And what is analysing. So this is a, like an okay looking wound, not infected, not contaminated. Okay, and what does the bot say? I've just analysed your wound and you have nothing to worry about. I'll check back in 48 hours. So now we're going to check the second wound, which is a lot more nasty looking. <laughs> you want to take a picture of that one? Almost there. Okay, so let's just upload a picture again. Wound over there, give me a second to analyze. And what do we come back with? Hmm, I 
hope you get this checked out. Please call NHS 111 or call your local ministry nurse. Thank So we have to develop that. So um, something to point out is that the um, machine learning model isn't properly deployed right now because uh, that takes a bit more time. Um, our data scientists can explain that. But the image classifier itself does work. So if we were to show you the image classifier on its own and you put in a, uh, a picture, then it would show you, it would come back with an output of infected or not infected. We just haven't got the two parts talking to each other yet. So you did all the training and everything this weekend? Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe not the best model ever. <laughs> I wouldn't trust it every time. It's like 60% accuracy, but <laughs> <laughs> we have a model. Yeah, yeah it was only trained on like 170 images. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.